night, the prime minister announcing drastic new measures just a short time ago, essentially telling everyone in his country to stay home. Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte announcing tonight severe restrictions on the entire nation of around 60 million people. From tomorrow morning, all sporting events are off, including soccer. The general public should only go to work and work from home if possible. In a Rome suburb, the faithful celebrated mass outdoors. Notice the distance between them, adhering to government advice that members of the public should stay three feet away from one another. Yeah, that's right, folks. Thanks to corona, Italy is completely locked down. No soccer matches, no cinema, even church has changed because worshipers don't want to get too close. And it's gonna be hard to take communion seriously when the, peace, the priest has to throw wafers into people's mouths <laughs> from across the room. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Just gonna be like the body of Christ from downtown! <laughs> But it's not just Europe. Coronavirus is also wrecking havoc here in the U.S. And it's becoming clear that no one is safe. Back here in this country, two members of Congress are putting themselves under quarantine because a man attending a large gathering of Republicans tested positive for the coronavirus. Senator Ted Cruz and Congressman Paul Gozer say they had contact with the man at last month's event known as CPAC. Two additional Republican congressmen will undergo self-quarantine. Matt Gates and Doug Collins joined Senator Ted Cruz. Cruz releasing a statement saying everyone should continue to treat this outbreak seriously and be driven by facts and medical science. Yeah, because coronavirus was at CPAC, four Republican lawmakers are now quarantined and can have no human contact. And Ted Cruz was like, what's human contact? <laughs> now, what's really concerning is that if it turns out multiple people in Congress have had corona contact, they might have to send all of Congress home, which would be a disaster, because if there's no one in Congress, then who would be left to not pass any laws? <laughs> And look, with coronavirus spreading across the country, I know a lot of people are scared right now. But there is no need to fear, my friends, because, you see, the stable genius in chief is on the case, and he's gonna do everything he can to help all of us through this thing. Unless you're already sick, then, then you're on your own. This morning, 3,500 people on the Grand Princess cruise ship will disembark in Oakland, California. Of the just 45 people tested, 21 have confirmed cases. All guests will remain in isolation for 14 days. Political reports that Pence and Health Department officials reasoned that quickly removing passengers was the safest outcome. But the president, he had a very different idea. They would like to have the people come off. I'd rather have the people stay, but I'd go with them. I told them to make the final decision. I would rather, because I like the numbers being where they are, I don't need to have the numbers double because of one ship. That wasn't our fault. You know, one thing I appreciate about Trump is that even if he does the right thing, he still tells us that he wanted to do the wrong thing. <laughs> He's like, everyone told me to save those people on the boat, but if it was up to me, I'd let those bastards die. <laughs> Just give me one fire arrow and I'll solve the boat problem, <laughs> Viking style, boom, Corona's Valhalla's problem now. <laughs> What's fascinating about Trump is that even as he bumbles his way through the corona response, he thinks that he's doing an amazing job. I like this stuff. You know, my uncle was a great person. He was at MIT. He taught at MIT for, I think, like a record number of years. He was a great super genius, Dr. John Trump. I like this stuff. I really get it. People are surprised that I understand it. Every one of these doctors said, how do you know so much about this? Maybe I have a natural ability. Maybe I should have done that instead of running for president. Yeah, yeah, maybe you should have done a lot of things other than running for president. 